baby. Welcome to or welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, my name is Kitten and today we're going to try and modify baby pacifiers into having adult pacifier teeth. So I've never done this before. I've seen a couple of videos and I'm using a different kind of passy. So let me show you. This is the passy that people usually will use to modify. This is a baby shield passy and it's M-A-M, ma'am. I think that's how it's spelled. That's the brand. So these ones, you just take like a screwdriver and you can like pop this off and literally just take the nipple off and then exchange it with an adult nipple. But I saw on Etsy, somebody had modified these Nook passies so i have the baby shields and this is the teeny eeny weeny baby uh passy tea and we're gonna try to figure out <laughs> how they took this apart now i've heard that people have boiled them and like softened the plastic but i've also heard people have just taken screwdrivers and like popped it out so I have my tool bag. This is my tool bag. <laughs> and we're gonna try not to break this and see if we can modify a passy. Yeah. This is a strange sight to see. Baby with her tools. I don't know what one I'm gonna need. Uh, probably a little one, right? That's a little one. So we're gonna try to use this little one. Maybe this a little bit bigger too. Oh boy. Oh, I need a grown up. <laughs> I feel like this is gonna go so bad. <laughs> if this doesn't work, I'm calling this video How to Absolutely Not Modify a Pacifier. Okay, I have my bag of extra passy nippies. Some of these are frosted. Some of them, I think, have supported sides. Most of these are just frosted ones. Um, they're the ones that I swap out in my passy shop when people order specialty nipples. So the first thing I guess I'm going to try to do, I'll use the purple one, okay? Because I like the pink one the most. I got it for the pink one. So we're going to do a practice on this. So if I'm not mistaken, oh my God, you just, oh my God, no, this is scary. Am I going to cut myself? Oh my God, there's got to be another way. Oh my gosh. No heckin' way. This isn't gonna pop out. I did watch some videos on this and like they literally just were like, just, oh my God, this can't be right. I'm gonna break it. It's breaking it. Oh no. <laughs> Can you just pull it out? No. How is it held in there? Is it glued in? Oh no, somebody also said you might need scissors. Oh no, they use scissors to like put in there and like, that sounds more dangerous than this though. Okay, let's just, oh my god. I don't know if the answer's brute force, but. <laughs> oh gosh, this is not working. No. Oh boy. It went through. Now that we broke it, let's just take a peek. I'm beginning to think it would have been easier to just buy the already modified version of this. Okay. Oh my God. <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> Should I try to boil it? To the kitchen! We're gonna go, we're gonna go get some hot, hot, hot water going on the stove. We're gonna, <laughs> can see. Is this glow in the dark? Oh heck, I thought this was a stupid one. <gasps> oh, we broke a glow in the dark one. Action shot. In case you guys wanted to know, this is how I organize my pots and pans. It's very... <clears throat> I need just a little pot. <gasps> this, this is a waffle maker. That is a tortilla maker. That's a little pot. No, pink pot. Do I need to salt the water? ASMR. Waterfall ASMR. Yeah. Hi, 
Hi, and welcome to Kitten's Kitchen. For today's recipe, we will need one partially broken passy and a lid and some nice water. Gotta do the cooking by the book. Uh, gonna make a special recipe. Hopefully a passy. The water is starting to boil. I'll be really honest, I didn't think this through. Like, what? What am I gonna do after I put it in there? What do I take it out with? What do I hold it with? It's gonna be hot. Send it. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> this seems really wrong. Okay. Smells so good. I found these pinchers that match my outfit and this also matches my outfit and some paper towel which also matches my outfit. How do you like yours cooked? When do I know when it's done? <laughs> I have a really, I have a good feeling about this. It's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna work out. I tried to just Google this boiling method that I heard of before. Who told me this? Who said that this would work? Where did this idea even come from? I'm beginning to think that I made it up. Okay. It's not even that hot. Oh, wait. Okay, wait. <gasps> okay, no, wait, it definitely feels looser. Hold on here. Damn, this can't be right. Okay, hold on, hold on. Everyone remain calm. Starting to go. Did I get it? Woo! It worked! It worked! Yeah! Okay, all right. So if we boil the other one before we break it, it'll work. Okay, okay. So I think I'm just gonna. So this is the baby nippy. I think I'm just gonna pull it out. Look at that tiny little thing. Wow. And then I'm gonna take the adult size one and just like force that puppy through, I think. I don't know, we'll find out. This part just feeds in here, like an adult passy would. Now I'm thinking it wouldn't be the worst idea to glue this, but it might be because I kind of broke it. But okay, I watched other people put them together and they like pressed really, really, really hard. So they're like full force. Oh my God. Did I get too excited too soon? <laughs> Does this not go back together now because it's too fat? Okay, how do I do this? Hold on here. <laughs> I'm so smart. I'm such a smart girl. <gasps> okay, never mind. It's fine, it pops right in. You just have to really pull this all the way through as much as you can. And then you just push and push. Now, if I just boiled it from the get-go, this would look a lot better. Okay, given we saw what I did. I broke it, I did break it. We're gonna try with the other one, but I'll show you this one. So I really biffed it up right there. I really did, if I just boiled it, it would probably have like a slight bend, but it would not be nearly as bad. But it was our first time, okay? But we did it, okay? So like, the difference, yes. Okay, let's do the other one, I guess. Back to the kitchen. This time's gonna be different. It's gonna be better, okay? This is the one that I really want to work out so we're gonna try. I'm gonna boil it for even longer, I think. And I'm going to, I think I'm gonna still try to enter through like where the handle kind of is. So if it does get messed up still, it'll be like hidden by the flap of the handle. But I'm still gonna use the screwdriver because like everyone else that I've seen do this uses scissors. That is terrifying to me. Did we not see what I did like that? I'm going to stab through my hand. So we're going to stick with the screwdriver. I feel like I have more control with it. But yeah, I'm not going to make you guys sit here and watch me boil um, passy soup again. But that's what's happening. That's what's going down. Hello. 
Hello. How are you today? How's the soup? Do I stir? Good soup. Okay. Great. It's kind of hot. All right, I'll just screw that in. A little more gentle. Oh gosh, it's toasty. Okay, I just gotta be brave. Fuck. I mean, heck, it's so hot. Am I gonna go in with the scissors? Am I really going to do this after I said I should not do this? Oh, maybe these people have the right idea though. <gasps> Damn it, it keeps cutting it. No, I don't. Hold your breath, everyone. Okay. Okay. I don't want to, but I don't know what else to do. We're getting in there. Okay, we're getting in there. Ooh. <laughs> it's very satisfying when you hear that like pop though. It's just being kind of patient and careful from there. Cause I don't wanna, there's a possibility to break it. So I'm just pulling now that I made like a indent, you see how it's like stretched. Hopefully I can bend that back. I wonder if I could even boil it back. Ooh, okay, hold on. Oh, okay. It's fine. Woo! It just has like this separate thing and like half of it came out and the other half didn't and I thought I literally broke it in half. We got it. Okay. All right. I should sell these. <laughs> the amount of work it takes. Okay, so I did reheat it and it goes back. It went back. So this one's pretty seamless. Now let's go get a proper nipple in it. Now we know from experience that we have to have it pulled through pretty snug. Push it through in case you need to see what I'm doing. I'm just literally pushing it through that little hole. Gel through, okay. So you see how it's in there. And then I'm just gonna pull it. Not to try and like pull it back through, but to pull it as snug as I can before it tries to, you know, pop back out the other side. I need to make sure that there's room for this piece to press in. So I'm starting the process of literally just forcing this bad boy in there. Basically, it's just feeling it out. Pressing with all of your baby might. I've seen some people like set it down and like press it in. You could probably use tools if you need to. And now we have two nook modified, modified, modified passies. We did it. <laughs> I'm honestly so proud of myself. It was definitely a process, but I didn't know what I was doing. Okay guys, I actually have to stop the recording now because my phone is very low on battery, but I hope that this was helpful for you. Boil it, get something. They, I guess a lot of people use scissors or um, those like exacto carpenter knives and stuff like that. That terrifies me. I just used my tiny, uh, like super skinny, flatheads that felt safer to me if i felt like i had a better grip on it so that's it that's the tutorial that's the whole tweet <laughs> that's the whole tut all right guys thank you so much for watching i do hope that this was actually helpful if you want i can do a video on how to modify this shield as well but i feel like this one's a little bit more unique i don't see a lot of people doing this specific modification please be sure to like the video subscribe to the channel if you haven't already check out patreon for more exclusive abdl content videos photo sets all that jazz and until next time forehead kiss